G'day. Hi. Hello, everybody. <laughs> How are you? Another week on Nutshell. Yep. Yeah, we've um, we've had a busy, busy week. We've um, what have we done? Well, we've oh, done we... lots of boat jobs. Yeah. We always do lots of boat jobs. And the sewing machine arrived. Yeah. So that was pretty. That was it incredible. Took a, it took a lot of work to get it to get from USA to Mexico because it's pretty hard to import stuff here. Um, I learnt a lot of Spanish. Yeah. I was writing letters in Spanish. So, uh, yeah, it came <laughs> through with a bit of help from our mate Rolf here at the marina, who yeah. um, was our sort of go-between fella. And uh, also a bit of help from Roberto. Yes. Um, another fella who's just bought a boat, he's fitting it out and ready to head off into the blue. Um, actually, we should catch up with him up in the Sea of Cortez once yeah. we uh, we both get up there. Yeah. Um, what else? So yeah, the sewing machine arrived. I was pretty excited. We nearly had to go into town to pick it up, but the FedEx guy dropped by. We weren't there. He dropped by again. Dropped it in. So very lucky. Cool fella. Saved us a uh, yeah hassle. Um, so yeah, we've been learning how to use it. Yes. Well, Wendy's been learning how to use it. Yes. Um, Done lots of sewing already. If, once everyone in the marina here found out that there was a machine around. Um, yeah, we got lots of beers. Yeah, lots of <laughs> lots of beers, <laughs> lots of rum, so yeah. it's worked out really well. Um, went out and had a meal with some friends at the local um, Carnitas beef joint. Yeah, is it? Pork, no, pork. I think. Pork. 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 A traditional place. Really so we good. Thought we'd give it a try. Yes, yeah, so that's a great recommended. Ta great tacos there. Mm. Um, did we go out and see the ship this week? Was it? Next oh. week. Oh, spoiler alert. Another one. Um, yeah. Anyway, we're we're yeah. getting close to heading off. Yeah. So it should be another week or so and we're out of here. Yeah, Maybe we're held two. back by a bit of weather. Yeah, a bit of bad weather and then there's a hurricane and it's, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so what's new? Oh yes. Roger. Hi Roger. Roger, welcome to the crew. Um, new patron. Thank you very much, mate. And uh, appreciate, it. appreciate every single thing you everyone does for us. So thank yeah. you so much. And um, what else? What else? What else? So much been happening, but it's been we haven't either had the camera out or it. Yeah, it's um, that's about it. Yeah, that's yeah. it. I won't waffle. <laughs> so um, oh, there is one thing. There is one thing uh, coming up. Um, on the Patreon channel, uh, what are they called? I don't know, it depends which thing you're talking about. Oh, there's lots of things. Got a few there's things. lots of things happening. Um, when you're listening, oh, podcast. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, as of maybe two weeks' time on the Patreon channel, there will be um, well, sporadic yeah, let's, podcasts. Let's, let's not, not make it weekly or monthly, it's, it's sporadic. Mm. So keep an ear out. Um, also, I've been starting to keep a log on the boat of uh, of our travels. So I'm going to take a snapshot of the pages of the log, and that'll go up on the Patreon channel as well. So for um, you, the, the nutty crew, the patron nutty crew out there, there'll be some stuff coming on online for you guys. Um, and YouTube just be how weekly? Well, as weekly as we can get it. Because Internet's a bit sus here. Internet's a bit slow now that we're travelling again. Yeah. But we're doing our best. We're visiting lots of pubs, um, lots of bars, to drink lots of beer, to lots find beer. find Wi-Fi. <laughs> or not. Because <laughs> you can either go to coffee places and drink coffee and find Wi-Fi, or you can go to pubs and drink beer and find Wi-Fi. Same price. No brainer, really. It's a no brainer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, except we haven't found any good beer yet, but we're trying. Or Wi Fi. Or Wi Fi. But anyway, we're waffling again. Yeah, so, we are. We're um, going to go. Otherwise, yeah. we'll never get this uploaded because yeah. it'll be too long. See you next week. Okay. Ciao. Cheers. Adios. <laughs> I'm a little bit excited. My missus is coming down the jetty with a big box. Look who I found. Who did you find, babe? Well, the FedEx man was coming past because he tried to deliver this this afternoon and we stepped out for five minutes. So he was happened to be coming past and he came past just to see if we would be here. 
to drop it off. Save me a trip all the way into town. So I'm pretty happy. What, just now? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. So cool. So what is it? Nobody will know what it is. Ah, it's a mystery box. This is thank, thanks to you patrons. Um, over the last, since we started, you've kindly donated enough to get Wendy exactly what she needs to start doing all the beautiful bits on the boat. And that is a sail right, out, sail right ultra feed sewing machine. So thanks guys. We would never have got, never have got one without you. So um, thank you so much. Coming on board. It's a little bit big. Hmm. Don't know how we're going to get it through there. If you pass me a knife. Yep, I better go get a knife. We've got some new neighbours. Action. Okay, so we went shopping to get our weekly shop in um, Tapachula. We left the boat for about an hour and a half and we've been waiting for this parcel for about a week. And guess what? It came when we went here. But luckily, they brought it back just now. So Mangus has picked it up. And I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna get to open it. It's been quite interesting trying to get this from America. What is that? Well, it's hopefully a sewing machine, a sail sewing machine. How much tape? You can see you don't have many boxes. Oh, I don't want to hurt it. I don't want to hurt the box. <laughs> Just. Ooh. Okay, so these look these are the bits and pieces that I think I ordered so we could make the saloon cushions. So zips, double-sided sticky tape, that looks like it's part of the sewing machine. Anyway, this weighs about 20 kilos. That's the flywheel. Okay, thread for the um, saloon cushions. And the exciting piece. This bit? Yeah. It's gotta be the toolbox, that's why no. it's is that the toolbox? Well, isn't it? Oh, it's a hot, it's a hot oh, knife. Oh, yeah, it's a hot knife. I forgot yeah. a hot knife. So we can cut this fabric without no, it fraying. So that I can cut bread and toast it at the same time. Okay, that's why we got the hot knife. And cut ropes and... Oh, yeah. Multi-use multi, multi -use tool, that yeah. one. So that's the first box. And now the big one. The big box. Oh, my goodness. One of those uh, dolls. Uh, yeah. Doll. Okay, what's in here? Okay, that holds the thread. Thread holder. I'm not going to go through everything right now. Uh, anyway, let's get to the good stuff. We got I can't there, lift man. it. But that's got to be that's got to be it, hasn't it? It's got to be the. It's, it's very heavy. The it. That's got to be the it. And I can't lift it. Yeah. What's in here? Um. We have. Wow, that's a beauty, isn't it? Looks very complicated yeah. and very blue. So much light. Very. Look at that. Well Take built. Look at that. Very industrial looking. That looks incredible. Beautifully packed. So that I'll have a go at sorting that out in the morning. What do you got in there, eh? Well, in this one, we've got this beautiful carry case. I think. I guess that's what that is. It looks like a carry case. Oh, look at that. Oh, like a road case. It's heavy. Yeah, it's like a road case. Come back from my um, Rodeo. Days. I don't know, I'm going to do this one. Do you want a hand? Yes. So just there? Keep going. Uh, um, yeah, it might, it, I think it's right there where that red, red car is yeah, parked. Good. All right, yep. Canita Dona Reina. Just come out for Canitas. This local place that's highly recommended. Where are we? We are at, what's it called this place? Canita something. There it is.
different. Oh really? Differently, well, differently good. This looks serious. Magnus has just masked all of this up. I wonder what he's going to do. I'm working on the mattress protector to make it fit our V-Birth with the new sewing machine. What are you doing? I am tidying up some of our lines. Using? Using the hot knife. And what do you think of it? I love hot knives. I've actually owned one most of my life. But when we moved to Italy once, um, we got rid of a lot of stuff. And I got rid of that then. Instead of having to whip the ends, um, which is traditional, I'm using the modern method of just sealing them. And where's that knife from? So right. <laughs> Awesome bit of kid. Yeah, it's quite a good quality one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. So that's a win. Alright, these are all done. That was quick work. Yeah, just did all those. Sealed them all, cut them all neatly. Job oh, done. One here, found another ah, one. One more demo. So you just cut it like so. You don't really need to do this bit, but it just makes it neater. Love it. Voila. Voila, job done. Fini. Oui, oui. You got something to say? Uh, eat your greens and be good to your mother. Is what I always advise people when they ask me if I've got something to say. But, as you can see, we've got a sail in front of us. And just below Wendy there is a sailing sail stitching machine. Commonly found it's the same machine. And so we're going to do a job, our first commission with the new sail right. Um, so we're using our friends as guinea pigs, and in return, um, they're letting us use their sail, and they'll end up with a pig sail. So let the games begin. <laughs> Roll her up. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, it's heavy. It's a little bit heavy. A little bit. A little bit. Rolling so this it up. is how you do it. You roll don't it up. know. I've never done it in my life. Yeah, but Magnus it. has. You roll it up. Magnus has. Don't and worry. He's, he's, he's done loads. I've never done any. So <laughs> you're getting it. big gloves Yeah, he knows what he's doing. I'm learning. Right. I know how to use a hose. That's about it. We can work with that a little bit. So this okay, is all so you start up here. Yep. Should we have the self feeding in that side? So yeah, you want to work on this side. <laughs> You've always got to work so that the sail is you on your right. Okay. <laughs> there it is. There she is. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, we've got to, don't get to turn the sail that way, we've got to turn the sail that way. <laughs> okay, you got our first job that she was built for. Doing when? I'm using the sewing machine for the first time on sails. It's pretty cool. Oh, we Guinea pig sail. Can I start? There's no guinea pig. My, foot, <laughs> my foot's hovering over the pedal. Righto. Go for a win. Just to get started, it needs to sort of get a bit of momentum. Look at that on the go. Yeah. Look at this professional guy. So how many people does it take to sew? So this is the sail Wendy wow. just fixed. This would be a perfect water slide. It is massive. It's a wave. So it's now all fixed. We've done one sail. That corner. Now we're doing the big one. Can you put 
Fantastic. So here we are on a friend's boat, so, sewing their mainsail up because we can, because we've got a portable machine now. So it's pretty cool, eh? I'm getting a cork out because us stupid Australians don't have a corkscrew because in Australia you don't have corks in wine bottles. You have Stelvins. So I saw this trick performed and well I didn't see it performed, I heard about it, you could do it. So I'm just giving it a crack. Gotta heat up the air. It's trapped between the wine and the cork and it pops the cork out. And so we'll either end up with a massive explosion of glass or it'll work, but I think neither's happening at the moment. It has to be cork and not a plastic cork. Didn't work. Good try though. So, we had a big day with this yesterday. We started at doing sail work. Sail work? That's a new... Uh, we started working on some sails at about 10 a.m. and we finished at about mm, just on dark, just after dark, so sort of 6 p.m. So it's a big day. Fixed lots of sails, lots of dodges, lots of stuff. But at one point, right towards the end, sewing along and we hit something really hard and needle broke. The needle broke a couple of times. And then after that, the thread started getting all fuzzy and fuzzed up and it was missing stitches and it started doing some real funky stuff. So, got on the Sailrite website, I sent them an email. They sent us a link back to some um, videos to watch. So, we watched the first one and we think, well, they described exactly what's happening. So, I'm just gonna dive in. So, we'll open her up. A bit of dust there from yesterday's work. All right, so um, we've got to take the bobbin out. Whoops, I popped the camera. Uh, I'll take we flip these out because we usually do on machines. Yep, there we go. So there may well be a burr on top of it. Oh, feel that. There it is. Right, because the needle gets deflected when it hits something hard. Oh, look at that. So we need to polish that up. This is a sacrificial piece, this top piece. So if it gets really damaged, you can actually unscrew it and then replace it. Um, so let's have a look at the actual shuttle, whatever it's called, the shuttle needle thing, eh? And, oh yeah. If you had feel of vision, you can actually- You can see it. Yeah, you can see where the needle struck on the, on the hook. Ooh, that's sharp. Um, so what we're going to do is get some emery paper, deburr that. Um, also going to get some emery paper on this and polish that up. And yeah, so all right, we're 100% correct straight away. So pretty impressed. So note to self, be very careful when sewing through really hard patches um, and either don't do it or slow the machine right down at that point. We can it's actually take a little chip out of that. This is how hard the needle hit. Yeah. So um, we might order one of these yeah, just in case. Um, so yeah, I'll get me emery paper out. Just gotta remember that goes that way. So I've taken this little plate off because there's a bit of a burr on the inside of it. So I'm just gonna use the um, Milwaukee whizzer with some super fine emery paper on it. <laughs> Try not to get the table. All right, let's get rid of that burr. So now somehow I've got to get a really small file in there to take that nick out. Because when the thread runs backwards and forwards in that little groove it's getting cut by that nick so until we can get a replacement one of these um, I'll see what I can do